Hey guys, Allie with Tip B. Uh, today we're going to look at an app called Train Yard for iPhone. Um, I personally, I'm kind of really addicted to this game. Um, it's very easy to play. It's not really um, anything that's going to be too, well I don't want to say not too difficult because it does get pretty difficult, but it's a very simple concept and it's an easy game to play. Um, first off, let's go into the main menu here. And we will go all the way to the beginning. Let's look at some settings first before we jump into it. <clears throat> you can adjust the sound. Um, it does have a color blind setting too, since most of this game is um, played with uh, combining colors. Um, the main premise of this game is you want to get your trains from the hubs into the stations. And certain stations only accept certain colors. Sometimes you'll have to mix colors. Um, we'll go to an easy one first. Let's, I don't know, click on one of these random ones. And the nice thing I like about this game is there's probably hundreds of ways you can solve these levels. So you can see that um, I started a second one here. So there's several solutions. The game also allows you to share solutions. So say I solved this level and I want to share it with the train yard community. I can click uh, share solution and it automatically shares it. I can also share it on Facebook or Twitter for my friends or followers to see how I solved that level. Um, I believe I posted in the actual article um, where you can go online to the Train Yarn website to uh, go ahead and share those. Um, so we'll go ahead and start a new solution. And as you can see, this one's pretty easy. You basically just got your green hub over here and your green state. Well, you got your hub over here and your station over here. So what you want to do is, and this actually also offers if you want to shake it, so I'll shake my phone, it'll let me clear all the tracks that way too. Or you can erase just a piece at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a track over here. And I can do this different than I did last time. And then you click start the trains and that train will go in that hub. So it's telling us that we solved that. So let's go to next and then let's go to one that's maybe a little bit harder where we need to combine some colors. So let's go to this one and maybe we'll go over here. Okay, so this one is where, okay, this is a good example of you've got two hubs and only one station. It's only going to accept one train. So let's say I draw these and I have two trains going in here. The second one's going to crash because it only wants to accept one. So in this level you're going to have to find a way to merge these two trains together. So I'll delete all my tracks and I will go ahead and merge these together. You really have to strategize on this game. It's not as easy as you would think it would be because you've really got to think about timing on these. You can switch tracks by doing that, double tapping them, and see we crashed again. So you got to find a way to make these trains meet in the middle to where... Uh, they'll merge. So typically what I'll do is I'll see how many grid spaces I have going to these guys. So maybe I will come down this way. And hopefully that'll get them to merge. There we go. And we've merged two trains into one. Um, you'll also deal with uh, places where you'll have to combine colors. So let's go into one of these. This one looks like one. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, you've got a green hub and you've got a blue and a yellow, or you've got blue and yellow hubs and a green station. So obviously you're going to have to mix these two trains together to make a green train. So we will... Bring this one down here. Oh, and see right there how I messed up. 
and go ahead and erase that. Bring this one up here. You can click the undo button if you just want to unhook one and like I said double tapping will uh, change your trains so oh, too soon so that track is too long so we'll need to shorten that one maybe we can just have a meet right there and there we go. And that's the main premise of the game. It gets a lot harder to where um, I won't solve one of these because it'll probably take me a full 10 minute video. Um, I never claim to be smart. Um, you'll get to the point to where some of these get to be a lot more difficult as you go. I have only completed a couple levels in here. And they get pretty hard pretty quick where you can see that you've got several different hubs, um, several different colors that you have to combine and get into the station. So it requires they, you know, they can make you scratch your head for a while and you'll have to, you can skip around and come back to them, which I like. Um, and if you really get stumped, you can always look for a solution or see how other people solve them. So if you guys picked up this game or if you, uh, you know, are thinking about picking it up and you do, let us know what you think in the comments, um, and if you have any suggestions on some of these tracks right here, this one's got me stumped, so if you know how to beat that one, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Alright guys, thanks.